Hi there, I'm Vincent Boss and I provide dating and self-improvement advice. And in today's podcast, we're going to be discussing Dumper Experience Part 2. I provide audio and email coaching to help people try and get their ex back or get a new girlfriend or boyfriend. Check out my website for more details, www.dateme.tips. Please check your spam and junk folders if you are expecting an email from me. So now let's get back into today's podcast and today we are discussing Dumper Experience Part 2. So this is the second instalment of the mini-series in which I explain the feelings, thoughts, mindset and experience that most dumpers go through. It goes without saying that I am having to generalise to some degree and that not every single dumper will experience every single thing that I described during this mini-series. We are all unique human beings, but from my research, these are the most likely experiences that a dumper will feel and go through after the breakup has taken place. So let's get straight into this, into part two. And we're describing from this moment that the relationship is now over, the breakup has taken place. And the dumper will be feeling a large sigh of relief during this period. Because, as we look back, what we spoke about in the first episode of this mini-series, the dumper in most instances does not want to hurt the dumpy. So the dumper in most instances is not enjoying the fact that they are going to be hurting the dumpy. They're going to be feeling a lot of stress, anxiety and guilt during this time pre-breakup. And when the breakup takes place, there will often be a big sigh of relief and a feeling of, you know what, I've got through the most difficult period and now I can relax. However, some dumpers will still experience a sizable amount of guilt, which will kind of come in and out of their life during this first period after the breakup has taken place. So although there is generally a huge feeling of relief and sometimes dumpers will even go as far to feel euphoric and excited about the new path in front of them, pangs of guilt are still likely to come in and out of their life for a few dumpers. Okay, It obviously depends on the exact situation, but in most instances, a dumper will experience some degree of regret and guilt as they move into this next phase, although it is generally overruled by the feeling of excitement for the new single life they have in front of them. Because you've got to remember that a dumper has got what they wanted. The dumper decided to end the relationship and hence they're now doing what they want. So this is exciting for them. This is the new life in front of them. This is what they wanted. So although they're going to be having these moments where they might look back initially and think, oh gosh, you know, I wonder how the dumpy's feeling. I didn't really want to do that to them. This is likely to be overruled by the feeling of excitement and euphoria ahead of them. So this is the period that I like to refer to as the honeymoon period of being single. Everything feels fresh again, exciting and new. The dumper might decide to reconnect with old friends or go into and start enjoying old hobbies, things that they may have not been able to do because of the relationship taking too much time, or maybe that their ex actually restricted and did not like them enjoying these things. Maybe that is a reason as for why the dumper ended the relationship. So the dumper is experiencing single life, but additionally, they might also be experiencing the fact and the feelings that they can now go back to things that they enjoyed doing in the past. And that might be reconnecting with old friends and it might be rejoining and experiencing hobbies that they did in the past. And for whatever reason, they didn't during the relationship. So this is a bit of a golden period for the dumper. Everything is feeling good and they will be moving through this period of their life with the type of feeling that somebody is experiencing everything for the first time. If you think back to the first time where people are legally an adult and they are legally allowed to go to clubs, maybe they're legally allowed to drink alcohol, that type of thing, you often see people when they hit this point in their life they'll go on social media and they'll be showcasing photos and videos of them doing all these type of things well this is kind of similar 
You know, it doesn't really matter how old the dumper is at this moment. Everything is feeling exciting. Everything is, is feeling new. And they are likely to be going on social media and really showcasing their best life as they feel it right now. And if a dumpy comes across this stuff, they're going to be feeling very, very uncomfortable because they might be thinking to themselves, look, it doesn't seem like the dumper misses me at all. It doesn't feel like that the dumper even cared. You know, they've completely forgot about me and they have already moved on with their life. And it's important for the dumpy to know that this is not the case. The dumper will never forget you. You was a very important part of their life. You was the major part of their life for a certain period of time. And they aren't going to forget you. It doesn't matter if it's days, weeks, months, years, decades. You are always going to be part of your ex's journey, part of your dumper's journey. And you will always be part of their life. So certainly don't be thinking to yourself that, you know, they've already forgot me. They have not forgot you. Just because they're posting things online about them experiencing things that either are new to them or things that they haven't done for a while, that doesn't mean they can't remember you or the past. And it doesn't mean that they didn't really enjoy the time with you at that moment. But you've got to understand that they are living in the moment. At this very moment, they are wanting to be single and they are really enjoying that moment. In the past, though, they was really enjoying being with you. That is why you was in a romantic relationship. And that was very valuable to them then. And it will still hold value now. But also what you can understand from this is showing that in the past, they was wanting to be in a relationship with you. And they had no reason to think otherwise. At this moment, they no longer want to be in a relationship with you. But what this should show you is that things can change. So you don't know as a dumpy if in a little while time, days, weeks, months, maybe longer, maybe years, but they might change their mind again. Circumstances can change and they might once again, once again, want to be in a relationship with you, the dumpy. Now, this doesn't mean that at that stage, you as the dumpy want to be back in a relationship with them. You know, you want to be going through your own self-growth and you want it to be your decision about what you do if and when the dumper one day contacts you. But this will only possibly take place if as the dumpy, you do everything right. If you do everything right, you stand an excellent chance of one day hearing from your ex again. And I've done numerous podcasts on things you can do as a dumpy to increase the possibility of you one day hearing from your ex again. So I suggest that you subscribe to my podcasts, not only so you can keep up to date with this mini series that I'm doing on the Dumper Experience, but also so you can understand and really familiarise yourself with my concept of how you stand every chance of one day hearing from your ex again if you do certain things and if you behave in a certain way. So make sure you subscribe and check out my other podcasts. So the dumper is experiencing this honeymoon period of being single. They are showcasing this online quite probably. And if they are doing this as a dumpy, you want to be making sure you are not checking your ex's social media. Nothing good will ever come from you checking your ex's social media, only stress and disappointment. Okay, you are going to be horrified possibly as well, depending on what the dumper posts. You are never going to be feeling good from it. So as a dumpy, please make sure you don't check your ex's social media. It will not help you. And it is also not even necessarily the truth of what the dumper is feeling. Because even though they're going through this honeymoon period, even though they should be living their best life, because this is what they wanted, this is not necessarily what they are feeling. Because you've got to understand how social media works, you know, very very rarely do we want to be posting on social media of how bad a life we're having. Mostly people will like to inflate their life and I'm sure you at home have probably done this as well. You will put your best photos online, you will post the photos that you look your best in. So that is why they are doing this. They might have gone out for the night and it not really been that exciting, but they want to be saying to themselves, that look, I had a great time. And maybe there was people, their friends and family who didn't really agree with a breakup. And they're kind of saying to them, look, I, I made the right decision. I'm really, really happy. Look at these photos I posted online. So you never know what's going on. So as for Dumpy, please don't check your ex's social media. It will never help you. So as the dumper moves through this honeymoon period of being single, all of a sudden they will start to realise that things aren't feeling quite as new as they once did a few weeks or months ago. All of a sudden going out two or three times a week has started to lose the novelty value. All of a sudden the friends that they wanted to catch up with have started to say, well, look, it's been great catching up with you, but, you know, I've got my own life now as well, you know, since I last saw you and I'm a bit busy. 
it starts to become not as fun as a single person. The initial euphoria is beginning to slowly wear off. Everything that was new is no longer shiny. The dumper may have been doing all of these new experiences, but they are no longer fresh, exciting, new, and something which can really pull the dumper in with intrigue. The dumper might have tried to reconnect with their friends and reconnected with old hobbies, but they might also be starting to lose their value in the dumper's mind. The dumper is now starting to realise that one of the things you get from a romantic relationship is that special magical connection. And that, all of a sudden, is the thing which is showcasing itself as something that is no longer in the dumper's life. So when the dumper was in the relationship, things were not looking great in from the dumper's perspective. The dumper was losing romantic emotional attraction for the dumpy. And, and during that period, the dumper was thinking about all of the things they were missing from single life. But things have now flipped. The dumper is now living single life and they are now starting to think back to themselves, wow, I am missing that feeling of having somebody that really loved me. In particular, if the dumper goes through certain periods of life during this period, maybe, you know, maybe certain dates have tipped by, maybe something such as their birthday, maybe something such as Christmas, if that's something you celebrate, maybe something such as New Year, maybe Valentine's Day, all of these things might be coming through. And if a dumper hasn't met a new connection right now, the dumper might be thinking to themselves, well, this is starting to feel a bit hollow. Like, you know, I did actually really enjoy those feelings that I, I wasn't really remembering at the time. I wasn't putting value in them, but now I don't have them. They're starting to feel really prominent as something that I'm missing. And sometimes you don't really appreciate something until it's gone. And that feeling that somebody loved you is very, very powerful. And all of a sudden it's no longer there. Now, there is a chance, of course, that the dumper has made new connections during their single life. But if this has happened soon after the breakup, it is likely that the dumper is living a life where they are not fully getting to know this new person. Because if a, if a dumper is starting to miss certain elements of their relationship, they are more likely to want to really speed up a new relationship to try to get to that phase because they're missing certain elements and they want those elements back. So they don't get to know a new person particularly well before they speed things along. And that is why a rebound relationship, which is generally typically described as a relationship which takes place soon after a breakup, generally these don't last very long because the dumper will be getting to know the new person after the relationship, if that makes sense. They will quickly move into a relationship and quickly have elements of a relationship which look from the outside as if things are moving very, very fast because they must be getting on so well and they must be such a great connection. But the truth is they don't know each other. They still need to get to know each other, but instead of doing it slowly through dates, they're doing it actually after the relationship has taken place. They might have moved in with each other quickly. They might be going on a holiday with each other quickly. All of these are classic rebound signs. And this is why the dumper is chasing that feeling that they no longer have. They are chasing that feeling of feeling secure. But they don't have it anymore because they ended the relationship with a dumpy and that is why they are now trying to quickly find that connection with somebody else. The problem for the dumper is as, as they move forward during this period is that as they're getting to know this new person, they're probably going to be somebody who doesn't connect with them. And that is why rebound relationships often end after a matter of months. Because once both people get to know each other, they often realise they are not actually compatible. And at that stage, the relationship will end as quickly as it began. The dumper is now really starting to feel these hollow feelings. They've tried to chase it. They've tried to chase the relationship with, with somebody new and try to take that feeling with them. And they can't. They can't get that feeling from a secure, long-term, loving relationship that they once had. You can't get that with a rebound. And although there is no 100% guaranteed way to predict Anything that an individual will do, most dumpers who get into a relationship soon after a breakup will not find fulfillment. 
There are, of course, a few odd relationships which actually do survive a test of time. They start soon after a breakup and they evolve from stereotypical rebound into a full relationship. That's the truth of the matter. And I give you the truth. In some instances, that can take place. But we're looking at the most likely set of events. And likely, if a dumper makes a new connection soon after a breakup, this will be a rebound relationship which does not last long term. They are chasing that feeling of love, security and desire from somebody else. And they will jump into that before getting to know somebody. And when they do get to know them, mostly they will find out they are not the right person. So where does this leave a dumper? As we approach the end of the second element of this mini series, it leaves the dumper out of the honeymoon period. The dumper is no longer in the honeymoon period of being single. They have maybe had a short-term relationship, maybe very retained their single status throughout. But ultimately, they are now starting to feel a little bit lost and confused. Because if a dumpy has done it, does everything right, the dumpy would not have been reaffirming the dumper's value by reaching out to them. And this will be making the dumper feel lonely and starting to consider, have I made the right decision during the breakup with my ex? Did I make the right choice? Make sure you subscribe because when I get into part three, we will be discussing what the dumper feels, what the dumper experiences, what are the thoughts of a dumper once loneliness starts to kick in. If you believe that this podcast has helped you, please consider buying me a coffee. The link to do so is in the description. Yeah, if you miss your ex, we can help with that. Help you get them back. Or we can help find you someone else. Yeah, yeah. Vincent Bo, the relationship coach. Uh, giving you some insight. Bringing you a new approach. Date me that tips. Go and check the site. Uh, giving you advice. Helping with your love life. Get your ex back or move to the next. Ain't no sweat. You know Vincent Bo got you. Finding love ain't no problem. Yeah, date me that tips. Check it out now. Thank you.